EastEnders Jacqueline Jossa reveals significant weight loss due to lifestyle changes, including gym routine and diet. Patsy Palmer's brother, Albert Harris, enters rehab to overcome heroin addiction, hoping to reconcile with his sister. Palmer's own struggles with drugs documented, while she's made iconic returns to the show amid family challenges. EastEnders Jacqueline Jossa shares lifestyle change, as fans say, you look different. Jacqueline, 31, showed off her slim figure as she explained her new gym routine and diet. EastEnders star Jacqueline Jossa has shared how she has undergone a big lifestyle change in the last eight months as fans noticed her incredible weight loss. The BBC soap star, who has recently returned to play Lauren Branning, opened up about her new gym routine and healthy diet during a question-and-answer session with fans on Instagram. Jacqueline, 31, who also has her own fashion range within the style, said her mindset has just changed as she explained she was eating well and moving more. She revealed her fitness journey as she replied to a fan who asked, Hi, have you been on a lifestyle change recently? You look different. If so would you share with us? Jacqueline said, I really have, I will have a talk at some point but nothing drastic or too huge, just been moving so much more, trying to train three times a week, sometimes more and sometimes less and eat well. Read more Coronation Street star Anthony Cotton reveals surprise friendship with huge star. The actor also opened up about the effects exercise was having on her mental as well as physical health. Honestly. My mindset has just changed in the last eight or so months and just got so into it, she added. I've been so much happier for it. I still have a way to go actually but I feel much better mentally. She also shared her gym routine with her followers, writing, I'm going to try and avoid gym advice and videos etc as I'm still so new and don't want anyone hurting themselves, I love the classes at the gym. I do say 15 minutes warming up on the running machine. Walking and running. Then three sets of each exercise focusing on certain body parts adding core work and cardio in between. Jacqueline has been juggling her new fitness routine with being a mom to Ella, 8, and Mia, 4, with husband Dan Osborne. In 2021 she admitted she had piled on the lockdown weight and was ready to get back into shape. During lockdown Jacqueline started a strict 350 calorie per meal diet after vowing to be healthier. She also converted her garage into a home gym following her time in the I'm a Celeb jungle to maximize her weight loss. Jacqueline posted her new range of in-the-style outfits and was immediately flooded with praise from fans. One wrote, Looking fab you've lost so weight. Another said, You look wonderful. EastEnders star Patsy Palmer's brother Albert Harris reveals he is checking himself into rehab two years after being released from prison in the hope he can reconcile with his actress sister. The brother of EastEnders actress Patsy Palmer has revealed that he is checking himself into rehab two years after he was released from prison. Patsy's brother Albert Harris, 56, has struggled with heroin addiction since he was 12 years old and although he has been clean for a year, he wants to be rid of his need for methadone. Albert was released from prison in 2022 after serving a five-year sentence for armed robbery in London. He was served the same length of sentence in 2010 for the same offense in Bristol. The siblings have not spoken a year due to Patsy, 51, having lived stateside since 2014 but Albert hopes to get better so that he can see her and make our mum proud, he told the Mirror on Saturday. Patsy and Albert have always been close, he said, but the distance and his convictions have made seeing each other a challenge. I'm stuck on this medication but soon I will be going in somewhere and I'll have that freedom back and can start a new life, Albert said. He has decided that he would like to spend the next section of his life as a volunteer or counselor to help people battle addiction. Albert who lives on his own in a one-bedroom apartment, believes that change is possible at any age, and that with his experience of addiction he can help others overcome it. He started taking methadone in prison after he was given it to help with the pain after surgery to remove a tumor on his spine. But it makes him feel tired and leaves him sitting on the sofa all day watching TV. He said, I'm a slave to the chemist and I can't get a job while I'm on it. Albert, who attends Narcotics Anonymous multiple times a week, admitted that it can be challenging when people find out he is on methadone and learn of his prison stints. But it stops my cravings and prevents me from going into that dark world, being around those people and committing crimes, he said. He has taken heroin twice since leaving prison but has been clean for a year and has vowed to continue going to meetings as if he believes he is better he may relapse. 
Taking the credit for his famous sister's first acting gig, Albert says it was he who got her into theater after seeing an advert for Anna Schur's theater in Islington in a newspaper. And he was along for the ride for a while, as both bagged roles together in Joseph and his Technicolor Dreamcoat. Raised by their dressmaker mother after she split up with their taxi driver father, Albert and Patsy were close. Their older brother Harry moved up and the pair lived at home with their mother for another four years. Albert wants to make his sister, who has spent £12,000 trying to help him kick the habit, proud and see her again once he is clean. The actress herself has struggled with drug abuse throughout her life, much like her brother. In her autobiography, Patsy revealed she had her first drink at eight years old and was regularly smoking cannabis by age 11. Patsy was seen back on screens earlier this month as Bianca, when she was visited by her stepdaughter Whitney Dean in Milton Keynes. Bianca first hit screens in 1993 before Patsy quit the soap in 1999 to spend more time with her family. She returned to screens in 2002 for a special and made further returns in 2009 and 2019, before her upcoming comeback. Share or comment on this article, EastEnders star Patsy Palmer's brother Albert Harris reveals he is checking himself into rehab two years after being released from prison in the hope he can reconcile with his actress sister. Brave Battle EastEnders legend battling secret family heartache as brother fights to beat heroin addiction. The soap legend recently returned to the square after five years away. EastEnders star Patsy Palmer successfully returned to the show earlier this year in her iconic role as Bianca Jackson. But away from the camera, the star has been dealing with a family heartache of her own as her older brother battles a drug addiction. Despite her massive comeback to the soap earlier this year, Patsy's brother is about to embark on a journey of his own. This month the 56-year-old will spend three weeks checked into a detox center followed by a three-month stay at a primary treatment facility. Albert has been battling a heroin addiction since he was 15 but wants to stop using methadone medicine after being clean for more than a year to control his cravings. Once he's free from methadone, he plans to help others who are struggling with addiction issues. Back in 2022, Albert was released from HMP Rochester after serving a five-year sentence for armed robbery in London. He previously served another five-year term for the same offense in Bristol in 2010, the reports The Mirror. Albert has revealed that he is keen to fix his relationship with his famous sister after not speaking to her for about a year. I know I can have an alternative life, he told the publication. I have problems with addiction and I want my little sister to see that I can get better and stay better. I want to make our mum proud and I want to make Patsy proud. Me and Patsy were always close but it's been a bit difficult since she's lived in America and with my convictions. He continued, I'm stuck on this medication but soon I will be going in somewhere and I'll have that freedom back and can start a new life. If I had another 10 years, I'd spend it helping others. I'd like to be a counselor or volunteer to help people with addiction. I've spent most of my life dealing with this and I know I can put my experiences to use, better myself and help others. I believe it's never too late to change. Pasty previously told how she spent £12,000 trying to help Albert kick the habit. The actress has also spoken candidly about her own battles with drugs and alcohol. In her book, All of Me, she wrote about her drug use while working on EastEnders. She said, Often, I arrived at work after partying and being off my head on drugs all night. Sometimes, I was still high on ecstasy. I don't think anyone realized. They thought my exuberant moods were natural. But I was taking huge amounts of ecstasy, vomiting all over dance floors then taking more drugs. Then I'd shower and change before appearing on set. At lunch, I'd grab a Mars bar and a Coke and have a sleep in my changing room. Patsy also confessed to smoking marijuana at 11 and then going on to sniff solvents. She wrote, Sometimes I think, how am I not dead, given the drink, drugs, lack of sleep, lack of proper nutrition and non-stop schedule I inflicted on myself. Now, Patsy is completely clean and lives in Malibu with her husband Richard Merkel and their three children. She first appeared in EastEnders in 1993 and quit in 1999. The star then made two reappearances before joining again in 2008. Then in 2014, it was announced that the actress was leaving the show again, and she returned briefly in 2019. 
Over her 13 collective years in Albert Square, Bianca was never far away from drama having been involved in some of the show's most iconic storylines including the discovery that David Wicks was her dad, her tumultuous relationship with Ricky Butcher and Whitney's abuse within the family storyline which aired in 2008. Please subscribe our channel.